512 as we start our coverage of, as we do every Wednesday of our excellent educator and sometimes the greatest challenges can teach us the greatest life lesson. This week's excellent educator is living that right now. Mr. Steve Lufkin has been diagnosed with a terminal disease and he thanks the students and staff at Henry Sibley High School in Mendota Heights for encouraging to keep doing what he loves teaching. For everything that's been going on and the support that this school has shown me is just overwhelming. And yeah, so Mr. Lovekin's ability to use his strength and courage to inspire others is what makes him this week's excellent educator. Mr. Lovekin, congratulations. You are WCCO's excellent educator. For 27 years, Steve Lufkin has helped kids understand math, and along with the problems on the board, he's helped them solve ones in their own lives. We all need someone in our lives who knows that, that, we, that they care about them and that they're there to support them and, uh, you know, to be an ear and to listen. This is what has made Mr. Lufkin unforgettable for so many former students, including a WCCO producer who had him more than a decade ago. But I remember how he made me feel and conversations we had and all those, those good memories. But now his current students are witnessing Mr. Lufkin face a new problem that is unsolvable. Last year, he was diagnosed with ALS. It's, it's been a, a struggle. Um, but it also has been something that's been um, a blessing. Mine isn't progressing as fast as some other people's. Um, and so I look at that and, you know, I'm able to still teach, which is exciting. I love doing that. The devastating disease is starting to take a toll physically. Correcting. It takes longer, you know, because I just, my left hand doesn't work and so I can't turn pages. But just as fast as Mr. Lufkin stepped up for the kids, they've done the same for him. When I've needed to pass out papers or do something, they step up and they do it. And so we've got some remarkable kids here at Sibley. He's chosen to continue to teach while battling ALS, deciding to turn his struggle into a teachable moment, even speaking publicly about it on graduation day. My dream is for one of you to be the next researcher who finds a breakthrough for a treatment or a cure for ALS. Watching the disease progress has been emotional for both Mr. Lufkin and the students. No, you were just one of the greatest teachers I've ever had. When I was diagnosed, that was rule number one. That crying is okay, and even in front of me, but you know what, crying heals, and uh, it's, it's okay. What do you hope that your students can learn from you and you battling this disease? I would hope that they can look at it and when adversity comes in their lives, that they can know that there's support out there for them. They don't have to battle it alone. And there are people there that will walk by their side, hold them up, and get them through it. No one knows that more than Mr. Lufkin, an entire school by his side, battling the disease with him. I thank you guys for everything that you've done for me. <laughs> um, you know, the willingness to, uh, to keep battling and to be here every day and see you. Well, you can definitely tell that he has a whole Sibley community on his side. Students and staff has stepped up to raise awareness of ALS and money for research. Last year, students and staff from across the district participated in the Ice Bucket Challenge in his honor. And they raised nearly $30,000 in another fundraiser, part of which benefited the ALS Therapy Development Institute. As for how long he plans to teach, he says he'll know he's done teaching when he goes home and he's too tired to spend time with his wife and kids. That's when he'll know that he'll be done teaching. Thank you so much for sharing the story. It's so inspiring. Yeah. Really, tough, really tough. Good. I mean, you, it's tough for us to sit here and watch. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's the same yeah. for you. And you think of those kids uh, uh, going through that journey with him. It's got to provide so much strength to him. But boy, uh, ALS is about as bad as it gets because your mind is fine yep. and your body just starts falling apart. It's Teaching, like you're trapped. You can tell him being in that classroom with those kids. Helps. I bet. I bet. It's best medicine. Mm. Great story. Well, if you have an excellent educator, please let us know about them. Just go uh, send your nomination on the WCCO Mornings Facebook page or email it to morning at WCCO.com.